Infection returning to the MCC and how to get a very special Infection nameplate. Match Composer added to the MCC Insider program and how to use it. New controller settings for the MCC and more. So stick throughout the entire video to stay update anything with Halo. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary here. We're doing some news updates when it comes to the MCC. Yes, we are still getting tons of updates for this game, which is fabulous. And so we're going to go over these details here in this video here. So if you like these kind of news information videos please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the channel and the video so more people get to see it more notoriety so more people get to stay update with everything going on with halo leave a comment down below where your thoughts on infection returning to the mcc and the new controller settings and the mixtape matchmaking all that combined i do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well and if you're new to the channel and want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, make sure to tap subscribe as we're doing all things awesome with Halo on this channel. So recently there was a Waypoint update uh, on talking about the recent changes coming to the MCC. I will leave the link to that in the description down below if you want all, all the nitty gritty details, but I'm giving you the TLDR in this video. So the big news coming for the MCC is that Infection is coming back. I've seen it so many times in my comment section in many videos. People went, man, where did Infection go? Why do you gotta take away my Infection, man? Well, well, you don't have to worry about it. It's come back. And not only that, it's that back today and until the end of the month of October. If you play within that time, you get a very special nameplate. And the way to get this infection nameplate right here, as I show you on the screen, is by just playing the infection playlist. And we're from Wednesday, October 17th to the 31st of October. You'll get a chance to play and get this nameplate for just playing the game, which is pretty freaking awesome. We definitely will be uploading some infection gameplay i really would like to see this come back to the mcc and kind of hopefully stay because infection is such an important part of what made halo such a awesome game one mode i'm really hoping for fat kid it's one of my all-time favorite infection modes and i really hope to see it come back for the halo 3 infection so cross my fingers on that one next thing we're going to talk about here is the match composer or aka mixtape match making the community suggested 2343 and they implemented it into the insider program here so let's just jump right into the mcc and i'll show you exactly how it works Okay guys, so here we are in the MCC. As you can see, the menu looks a little different. We have it divided up into social games and competitive games. Uh, if we click on competitive games, you'll just be coming across regular playlists. Uh, the reason why you don't have the max set matchmaking or match composer for the rank playlist, 3 for 3 states that the way the rankings work when it comes to this game mode, or the, with just ranks in general, it's like a fundamental change which would really delay a lot of updates to the MCC. So they were able to change it for the social games, but not for ranks, sadly enough. But if you jump into social games here, you get to jump in, and this is the first menu that you see right here. Is you get to change your game mode, and your game size, which is either four player or eight player for the most part, I'm sure. Um, we do come across four player and 16 player as well, which would be big team battle. Um, so first match you come here, it'd be playing on Slayer, 8v8s. Right now I have Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary and Halo 3 installed because I don't really like playing CE for 4v4s because the spawns are terrible. That's just my opinion. And I don't like playing Halo 4 because I don't like Call of Duty in my Halo, basically. So when you first load in, your first option is just playing Team Slayer. I was a little let down by this. I was kind of hoping that the default setting would have everything selected. So if you didn't want to play things, you just unclick them but if you didn't care and just wanted to play halo and play all these different modes then you know go you can match up with more players just kind of help keep the player base a little bit more alive with my suggestion but uh default is slayer selected you can also change to swat team snipers team action sack and griff ball you can also change the game mode to like big team battle right here you can select all your different game modes like slayer capture the flag assault king of the hill and action sack as well and you got SWAT, Snipers, Infection, and Customs as well if you want to just kind of customize it however you want to. I think this is a really great way to hopefully improve uh, the experience players have been having with the MCC. I think a major complaint is that a lot of these people are getting like shoehorned or just kind of thrown into playing modes that they don't want to play like Team Snipers or King of the Hill or whatever. We have a lot of people quitting out of matches because it's not what they want to play. 
sadly enough. And so uh, I think this will just give players the opportunity to play exactly what they want. And if they have poor matchmaking times, well then it's their fault. I think this is a great opportunity to give power to the players to decide what they want to do with the game rather than kind of, you know, funneling players down certain channels. Also coming along with this update, we have a bunch of new updates for the controller settings for the MCC. And then you're probably like, oh, okay, who well, gives a crap? It's not that exciting. No, trust me, this is actually really important. Okay, so back in the MCC here, we'll go to the options and then we're gonna scroll over to settings. And you can see, if, obviously you can choose from each game, like CE, Halo 2, 3, 4, CE again. So uh, the great option here is that now you can change your horizontal and vertical look sensitivity, your look acceleration, and your dead zone, much like you can in Halo 5, which is fantastic. And not only that, you can change it incrementally from 3.5 to 4, 4.5 to 5, things like that. So you can kind of get more you know, custom to what your sensitivity is like in other games. Because since uh, a lot of these Halos use different kind of aiming mechanics, that, um, you know, four sensitivity in Halo 3 will feel a lot different in CE and Halo 2 and Halo 4. And so you get to customize exactly what your sensitivity is for each game to hopefully give that kind of general same feel. Uh, I think also be able to change the dead zone, which defaults at 20. So that's a pretty generous dead zone compared to like Halo 5, where I think most people run 0% on dead zone on that one. So it's that's definitely something to take into consideration. I am actually super excited about this. But like I said, every Halo feels a little different when it comes to your aiming mechanics. And so being able to change your acceleration, your vertical and your horizontal sensitivity will really help kind of give you much more cohesive experience while playing the MCC, which has been the biggest issue I find with this uh, game. Now you're probably like, oh shucks, I would love to try out this, but I, I'm not, I never got into the MCC Insider Program. Well, actually the Insider Program has now moved to like a public test room kind of thing, and it's been even been expanded even more to more players. So if you own a digital version of the MCC, you are in this Insider Program. Now you're probably thinking, oh my god, how do I download the MCC Insider Program now that I have an opportunity to play it? Well, what you gotta do is you go to your Xbox here, go to My Games and Apps, click on See All, go to Games, and then you'll see up here in it'll, your game will show up like this. I already have it downloaded, so it comes up as installed, but ready, you go over to the ready to install portion up here to the upper right, and then it will show up in your list of games right here to play. Like I said, since I've already have it installed, it shows installed. But if you haven't installed it, it will show up to your ready install apps. Now you're probably thinking, well, what time do I get the chance to play the MCC Insider Program, Kevin? Well, the answer is you have two different play, you have multiple play sessions here. Uh, from October 19th through the 21st, it's from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and then also 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for the 19th through the 20th, and, so, and then for the 26th to the 28th, you have the exact same times as well, 10 a.m. to 1 a.m., 6 p.m. to 9, 9 p.m. There are quite a few, a lot of other changes involved with this MCC Insider program. So if you want to get more details into it, check it out in the link description down below if you want to read everything about it. But I covered all the gritty details you probably want to get involved with. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, make sure to tap that like button. That really helps out the channel a lot and this video. If you are looking forward to the infection mode coming back to the MCC, leave a comment down below what you guys thought about the video. And if you're new to the channel, stay up to date with anything here related, make sure to tap subscribe on the channel here to keep you updated with anything related that's happening on here. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.